now that we've you know taken a little bit of a look into CSS uh, again really just enough to give you an example of how divs work uh, we're gonna start looking at some of the new tags that have been added to HTML5 now many of the tags that have been added to HTML5 take on a similar role that the div tag did the tags I'm going to introduce you right now just like a div don't really have any properties we really just use them as containers and and really what they're doing is just replacing what we would have previously used a div for now this doesn't mean we don't use divs we still use divs quite a bit but when developers were taking a look at HTML5 and what to add to it they kind of recognized that there were a set of elements that we were creating on a page using divs that were pretty consistent and it wouldn't hurt to have tags to represent those elements and some of those elements would be a header a footer and a navigation now header and footer should be self-explanatory navigation is what many people starting out in this field would refer to as a menu or the main menu or sub menu um, we like to use the term navigation instead now I introduced the div tag to you first because I wanted you to really understand how these we'll call them container tags work because the header the footer and the navigation tag or nav tag do not have any more properties than a div does however it definitely makes our code look cleaner uh, and easier to read and it also helps like I mentioned previously uh, those using accessibility tools like screen readers to navigate through a page and, and know this is the header of the page and this is the navigation etc for those who can't actually see what the page looks like so we're gonna continue using this document we have here and we're gonna you know, naturally add the header tag first so right after the body tag here and before the wrap div we're gonna go ahead and create a header tag and it's done like that and we'll go ahead and save this as and we'll take a look in the browser as you expected nothing changes now if we look in our source you of course see the header tag but like a div there aren't any special properties associated with it so unless we tell it otherwise we're, we're not going to see it so let's go ahead and put something in the header tag and we'll, we'll take advantage of the h1 tag and this will be kind of the title of our page go ahead and save that take a look in the browser and there you go we have our header so we've got our header now let's go ahead and use a little bit of CSS so we can we can see it and this time instead of using a background property we'll go ahead and create a border around it so we'll use the selector header and we'll say border and so far when doing CSS here we've only used one value in each one of these properties so this one we need to give it the border size and we're just gonna make it one pixel we need to tell the page what type of border and we'll just do solid and then lastly we need to give it a color and we'll go ahead and just use that same light gray Make sure we put our closing curly bracket go ahead and save you can see our border going all the way across here again like a div it's a block level element it's going to span all the way across the page unless told otherwise or contained in something else so if you actually wanted your page to kind of fit the width we've created with these columns you might have already guessed what we need to do so we go back to Dreamweaver here and let's go ahead and put the header within the wrap so just because it's called the header doesn't mean it necessarily has to be the first thing displayed on the page so let's go ahead and give a little space here and go ahead and grab this and I'm just going to cut this to control X 
come here on line 65, control V and paste it. And we'll tab it out appropriately. Get rid of some of this space. So now if we save and take a look, we've got it contained in our wrap here. Now, you may notice that there's some overlap here, and that's because these divs actually have that margin on it, which is pushing it out here and here. Before we move on, just to kind of represent the wrap, let's go ahead and let's put a border on the wrap as well so we can kind of see where our boundaries are here. And for this one, we'll make it one pixel, and this time we'll do dashed. And for the color, I'm just going to go ahead and use Dreamweaver's color picker here, and we'll be kind of a light reddish pink. And semicolon, save, and refresh. There you go. Now here is another, again, undesired effect going on here. And this is going to move us into the next portion. Because you see that our wrap is only, appears to be going around the header. Yet it's still keeping our columns together, but visually we're only seeing it go around the header. So let's discuss that. Let's save this as.